Right, done. Yes, I got it right. <clears throat> Whenever we talk about LBTs and, and lots of, and never, I've been to a class, this is, this is the abdominal session. You go there and nobody wants to do the same exercise, i.e. the abs work the same muscle for half an hour, and they tend to be fairly empty. So what I'm going to do is, I don't normally like getting people to, once you're lying down, you sort of stay there and all forced there, but we'll be going down, coming back up, mixing up a combo with an ab exercise and then something else to get the LBTs in, okay, on that one. Those of you who haven't got the beam might want to sit on a mat to watch the old, uh, the base of your spine, okay, on some of the exercises. And we might do a few little roll-ups on a beam. We haven't done those for almost 18 months. Going to meet you down, guys. When we're doing those ones, I'm not just doing them to watch you all fall off your beam to the side, okay? It's an, they're all good. Right, that's done, that's done, that's done. Good, let me get rid of the chair. And watch to click anybody else in. I've had one of my super duper energy gels, so you can wait for it. The class is gonna wind right up today. All right, just keep reminding myself on there, it is beam lattice, okay? All right, in steps alongside the beam. I know we've got a couple of press and players coming later. Tape on your mat, roll it out, feet six to eight inches apart, little railway tracks on the beam when nice. We've got our measure there, guys. Here we go. Roll the feet forwards and to the rear. Nice sunny blue sky. And it's a bit of a cold east wind, but we can't have everything, can we? There. Forwards and to the rear. Get that equal body weight distribution throughout the feet. Curl the toes up, place them back down, and do the sort of things a few times. Make it into a good habit if you want to. At the same time, you can roll the back of the wrist, wiggle the fingers. You can roll your shoulders around. It's getting the feet forwards. Hands to the hips now, and start thinking about hips coming forward and the butt out to the rear and slowly increasing there. And that creaking noise. Those old houses that make different noise at different times of the year. Good, that's better. Hips forward. Butt out to the rear. As the bum goes to the rear, curl the toes upwards, take the balls of the feet off the floor, getting up on the heels and turn it a nice stretch. There we go. There we go, way forward. So we're getting out in the garden, aren't we? We're doing different things. No matter how fit you get, guys, you come to your garden, do some it's physical activity, you'll use the muscles in a different way, you will get a little bit of tightness. Taking the chest right down, two more of those, there's one, and back, and two, and back. And now imagine you strain pelvic floor area. You put my string forward, I'll pull yours forward. Hips coming forwards, slight banana shape, squeezing the glutes, the bum or the butt as we bring that forwards. It's nice and tight. Here we go. Two of those left, one and two. Then relax it down, back of the hands facing me, shoulder height to the front. Just feel the cool air going over the arms, guys. There, good. So my insteps got pushed slightly away from the beam. I had to correct them. Good, that's nice and relaxed there, isn't it? So you stop waving the arms back like this one, getting the nice flowing movement of the arms from the shoulders. We know we started. W position first, here we go. And we're gently going to build this one up. Up we go. Coming up on the toes first off. There, keep our turn of circulation going. Then open up little finger from the thumb. That's a bit more. Then A4 paper between the shoulder blade. That squeezes it a little bit more. That's feeling looking good. Three more of those, one. Back, two, and three, and long arms. Here we go. There, just relax long arms. Not reach up the ceiling yet. We'll relax down from our toes for a little bit. That's okay. That's all good. Now start bringing the heels a bit further up. Feel the calf starting to work. Now start reaching up for the ceiling, getting a little bit taller, a little bit taller, and now bring the elbows in, and that gets a nice big full stretch. It's also a fantastic thing. Not only a big full body stretch, guys, you're on your toes and you're balanced. There's some nice straight lines there. Well done. Bringing the hands back down to shoulder height in two and one and there. Two for the price of one. Again, that's going to nice relax legs down. And remember, if you've got a little bit of stiffness or tightness this morning from the DOMS, a little bit more tomorrow. Yesterday, we did in the nil quip, you did pretty close to 160 different types of squats. Massive guys, there. It was a nice medium pace one that included the single leg ones as well. If we'd done that yesterday's lesson 18 months ago, we'd have all been walking like Morrison's shopping trolley legs today. There we go, dipping it down. That momentary split second pause to the front, you dip it down to where you feel comfortable, 
But I want to get a bit deeper on this one. I just think about sticking the butt out the rear a bit more. I feel the lower back engaged. Two left, there's one, back, two, and back, and gently shake it out. So I warm up, I stretch, we combine everything when I've been fit, getting free for the price of one, then you start feeling the shoulders working because it's a big full body exercise at the same time. Let's get our breaths in. Three circles, keep the movement going. Hands up, out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squishing those hands out. Remember, the sun's out, there's blue sky, as soon as that happens, start drinking more water, fluids during the day, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, looking good. Squish the hands out, turn them up. Separate thumbs from the little finger, breathe in. Elbows high this time as you bring the hands down. Three second isometric push in, go. And two, and a three, and hook the hands over. Three seconds, pull apart, go. And two, and three, and ten. I grimaced there, I did that. My hand cracked, and my hands never cracked out before. What was that all about? Okay, hold the thumb, rotate those shoulders forwards, and rotate it out to the rear. Feeling really good, okay. All right, feet still either side of the beam, to beam lattice type class. We're using the beam to keep that measured, nice narrow railway tracks. One time only, it's gonna be a bicycle chain, guys. Here we go. Good posture first off, place the hands on the thighs, big deep breath in. Exhale, and get as much air into those lungs as you can. Really get it big time, mega inflated. Hands on the shins. Don't worry about only bending. Middle fingers in front of the toes. There, chin to the chest. Think cat stretch, last little thoracic breathing. Just pause and hold that there. Think about pushing some weight down through the tips of your middle finger through the floor. And keep thinking cat stretch, straight knees. That feels good, doesn't it? Should we start this for half an hour? Big deep breath in. Exhale and slowly coming back up. There. Capital P for posture. Looking good. Pause and hold that for a second. Taking the hands up and out, palms facing me. On the inhalation, guys, we're going to go for one time only. We're going to hold a breath for eight seconds. But blow out hard when I say go. Turn the hands up. Breathe in. Six. Four. Two. Go. Good. Then I'll come nicely down. Give everything a nice little bit of a shake out. Back to the beam either side, hands to the side, and lean over left or right. You still may feel a stretch in the waist. Remember, anything down your lats down the side, that comes from the Nilk Web exercise yesterday, the punching one. Bring it back upright and over the other side. There. Oh. Now I can feel mine, so you must be able to feel yours a little bit at least. Good. Then back upwards, pointy fingers out, concrete trousers and boots are on. Any finger you want, guys, three times either side. So like last week, before we did this one first off, bit of tightness in my right shoulder, I'm gonna bring that back. I thought I might go on a bit further then, but, and it's the same that side and back again. So I'll tight the shoulder, a little bit my mid spine, and that again, that's a bit of doms from yesterday. Back this way. And a lot of athletes have little injuries nearly all the time, some tightness somewhere. Ask anybody who is down as being super fit, a superhuman athlete, what their current injury is, and I guarantee you they will all have one. In fact, they'll talk about their aches and pains more than anything else. And back again to there. And then arc it nicely down, bring the hands to the side. Good. So therefore, we can talk about our aches and pains as much as you want to. Shake the hands out because we're all nice and super fit. Good habits. Wiggle those fingers. That side and that side. Here we go. Let's get to the beam. Let's get our eyes in. What's that one? Okay. All right. I'm going to answer that. Fantastic. Okay. So right foot to the front. Well, I'm surfing in new key for a second there. Look, because I've got a blue carpet. Drop the, the foot over the back of the beam. Bring it forwards. So nice, straightforward three step. It might bring in some other bits of stuff to go along with. Let's get the eye and you get focused, guys. Here we go. Three steps for one, two, 
three, gently rolling those feet and backwards, toe heel, toe heel, and then uh, keep this one going. And imagine your, your beam is made out of rice paper. Don't want to tear any of it, rolling those feet forwards and rolling them to the rear. There, feeling the core, engage. Nothing wrong with, keep it going, nothing wrong with getting a little bit of a wobble. When we do, you'll feel your core engage all of a sudden nice and tight. And we go back and then you get relaxed down again straight away as well. And there, when you first start on the beam, you tighten up, then you lose it, then the brain starts going crazy and you fall off and back for a pause. One and two and a three. Look fantastic, feel fantastic. Hands up and out, turn up, breathe in. Gracefulness, posture and poise. Exhale down, fantastic. Squish them out, round we go for two. Turn the hands up again, breathe in. Exhale then, look how good and easy you're making this look, although we're all working as hard as ever. Arc the hands down, guys. Let's keep it relaxed. It's being lots and swap the feet over. Well, don't swap your feet over, you make a hard mess on the floor. Do a switch back. Same one forward, then the other one. Off we go this side then. Heel toe, heel toe, and heel toe. We know we've got to exaggerate these little robot arms a bit more, but there and back, and that gets us all tuned in. That gets the hand-feet coordination there. Oh, I held that, see that? A big wobble body, you get a hangover. And there, and back, two up, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And slow movement, look at, it's more difficult, isn't it, than I'm being fixed there, and there, and front again, because the body's momentum is stopping and almost pausing there. And back for a pause, two and a three, hands up and out, same as the other side, turn hands up, breathe in, nice arcs guys, gracefulness, arc it down, bring it back to there, switch it round for two, turn the hands up, breathe in again, exhale down to the heart, the spider has gone off the ceiling by the way, switch it back around, we're going to arc the hands down, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders forwards and then backwards, that gets us nice and relaxed, good habits, rope switch back, swap the feet over, Okay, so here we go. Three steps, high knees, off we go. One, back, two, and three, front and rear. So the LBTs bit, we're getting it in already. And there, and back, hands up and out. And same again with a high knee there. With a nice big stretch and reworking, getting extra calories being burnt. And there, going backwards, there, high knees. Spatial awareness going backwards and there. Good, split second to pause and hold. Hands up, it's a tall tower, relaxed with the elbows, long as the hands above the head, we're happy. It's there, good stuff. And there, nice and high and up, looking fantastic and going back. Guys, there's some good high knees coming up there. You guys on press and play later, follow anybody, pause, hold. Stand easy position, hands behind the back. Last one this side, it's high knee and there, high knee and there, high knee. And there and back, a return one and up and two and there and three and back, hands up and out, turn them up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart, good stuff. Arc it downwards and don't take those feet around, guys. Switch back. Cozy class, guys. Everybody on the screen there, that was good. Straight lines, good high knees, and it looked very gymnastic y. What's the, what's the points they get for looking, looking just looking good, except the exercise they do? We're looking fantastic. Okay, this side, hands up and out, straight to the relaxed tall tower, and high knees, off we go. One, and two, good, three, there, return one, and two, good, and three, there, fantastic. Lock the thumb to the front, and go for one, and two, and three, good, return, there. Hard work, isn't it? But looking good, feel the muscles working super hard there and back. Crucifix or T-shape, and we go for one, and two, good, three, there. Return high, and there, and there, and back. Turn the hands up, breathe in, exhale down to the heart, Squish it out, guys, back to T-shape, then arc them nicely down. Give the hands a shake and step away from the beam either side. Nice shake out. I'm going to get a quick slurp. Oh, bit too much gin in that one. Okay. Right. 
onto the beam guys, right foot front, left foot to the rear. Look where your front, your toe is. You've got a normal stance there. So just lift your front leg up, place back down in the beam and get your normal step. Get your feet comfortable. Get your granddad's socks and slippers off. Feel comfortable. Now look where your big toe is and step forward one. There. Okay, front foot flat, back foot comes up on the toes. Hands up and out. Push the foam into the floor. Down we go. And back. Oh, that was my knee cracking out there. See that one? And down. There. Good. Fantastic. Well done. Another 60 of these. Down we go there. And that's a nice big stretch at the same time as a huge workout. LBTs, body sculpting, two of our favourite words. Down we go. We're finishing off now with three swan wings. And nicely down. Good control. And back. Taking it right through the body. Brilliant. There. And back up. Looking fantastic. Good arms, guys. I'm liking those curves. I'm liking them so much. One more bonus. Here we go. Take it down. And then back up. Pause, hold. Rotate round for two. Round we go. Turn hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart. Squish it out. Bring it back round to me. And arc that nicely down. Step away from the beam. Shake it out. So we're nice. You know, sometimes you draw the foot back and swap straight over. Off the beam. The reason being is... That stance we had, your back leg, did you feel your tibialis anterior working so hard? Your shin, okay, so we're taking it down to the legs. Back to the beam, other foot to the front. So get your normal stance there, lift the leg up, place it back down. Wiggle the feet around, get rid of your granddad's socks or slippers. Look at the big tone, step forward one. So we're all finding our natural stance for balance, then stepping forward by one foot measurement. Hands up and out, more or less the same this side, here we go. Whites of the eyes, we dip and back. There's my other knee cracking out, so these I've got equal. There and down. Good. Pushing the form into the floor. Down. The back foot's getting rolled up onto the toes. This is a huge confidence thing at the same time, guys. Down we go. Big calorie burning one. Big muscle stretch activity going on. An alignment of the ankles, knees and hips. Down we go. One more of these, then we'll do four swan wings. So you've got your bonus already. Here we go. And arcing it down. Posture, poise, looking fantastic and graceful. That's the word got stuck between my little brain cells somewhere. Looking graceful. Well done, guys. There's three. And back. Feel the heart rate coming up, respiration rate coming up. There's the last one there. Finish it off to that position there. Then rotate round for two. Feel slightly off balance. Here we go. Breathe in. We took a bit of a step forward. Exhale down. And squish it out, back around to me. Arc it down, step away, shake it out. And that takes it right down to the ankles and the soles of the feet. We've got an itchy left foot. Good. Lottery ticket straight after this. Okay. Time for a sit down, but we'll be getting back up again. So don't have to adjust your cameras, guys, as long as you can see me. There. If you can't see me, we'll start doing this on a radio. But you can, we all know exactly what we're doing anyway. All right, so beamers, calves halfway down the beam, insteps together. As soon as sit down, spine S shape, okay? So from there, when you lean back slightly and just take those calves off the beam, hold, two, three, come forwards again, sit back down, there, and rest. This is why you guys are on your tape, on the carpet, on the mat, okay? Roll back, guys. Get those calves off the beam again and hold. My calves are about. Have a look. Three inches off the beam. Two, one, and bring them back down again. There. Rest. Bit different this time. Here we go. Lean backwards. Calves off the beam. Open the feet outwards. Scissors. Wide as you can. Bring them back. Again, out. Bring them back. Again, out. Bring them back. Back to the beam. Sit there, good, well done. Okay, so bring the feet nice and flat either side of your beam, wrap the hands around the, the knees, gently relax. Just pull forwards gently like a bit of a half hug. You know the hugs that you give, but you're not really interested. <laughs> One of those ones. Okay, there, Let's hold that there. That's a little tension down through the abs. Okay, the arms are joining in this time. Here we go, calves halfway down the beam. Insteps together. Remember, you can just take the heels across the floor and back if you can't lift them. You can make it easier by lifting them a little bit higher. 
all down to you guys, it's all okay. Taking the hands out to the front prayer position here, they're gonna follow the feet, lean back, cross off the beam, and we open everything out with the feet and hands, and bring it back, one, and out, two, fantastic, and back there, and three, out, two left, it's back, ready, it goes out, and then back, and last one is out, and back, and arc it down, gracefulness all the time, feet nice and flat, little half hug around the knees, gently pull inwards, that relieves the tension. Now notice we're getting our hip flexors, top of the thighs, and into the abs done as well, because we always say, don't want good abs, work from the hip flexors upwards, not the other way around. It's nice and strong, so we get a pelvic floor, it's deep, it's full 360 through the waistline and into the back at the same time. Last one, after this, we stand back up again. Calves halfway down the beam. It's all right for you, I've been practicing this routine all morning, okay, said Pinocchio. Hands to the front there, no difference, just the same, leaning back, calves off, and up we go, one, and back. Look at the balance on the beam there, guys, and out we go, two, and back, fantastic, and three, and back, and four, looking good, and there, and five, and here, replace it, feet either side of the beam, gentle hug around the knees, pull it in, S shape of the spine for two, and a one, and then back to our feet again, looking good. All right, good. You know what guys, I do these exercises now, when we get people in the classes and I'm press and play who have done individual Zoom sessions with me since we very first started because this muscle wouldn't work, that wouldn't work. This one was the most common one where people couldn't sit and raise it. They told my legs aren't working. I can't get the ankles off the floor. And you're all doing stuff like this now. <coughs> Clap from me. Okay, right leg to front, back to the beam. Get that normal step again. Look where the big toe is, step forward one. Hands to the hips, front foot flat, and see if you can get a circle going with the hips. Circle it, I bet you've taken it a little bit. Oh, I can't do this so much on this. Circle it round, guys, circle it round. You're trying to throw yourself off the beam. Now you think how wide, we, a bigger circle we get with the hips when we're not on the beam. This is now getting your core engaged all the way through. A deep LBTs, deep core. Taking it back the other way now. It's gonna feel a bit strange. We can get a circle going around nice and slowly. Keep the front foot flat. Let the back toe basically do what it wants to. I had to pause there for a second to regain the balance. Two, one. Last one. Let's hook those feet over. Around we go. Now, you're going to feel like you're not getting a lot of movement compared because you're conditioned to doing it on the floor with this one. But what we're getting is, is you're getting a massive workout from the halfway to the thighs to about halfway down your ribs, okay? The area you want to aim at. Get that nice stance going again with the balance. Look where your big toe is on the other foot. Step forward one and hold and circle any way you want to. There. So you're trying to stay on that beam. Your main weight of the body now, your center of gravity is working around the beam side to side and trying to knock us off. And that way you're keeping this balance. Now watch what your head's doing. If your head stays in that center line more or less, that's what's going to take the control. Hips go outwards, the head comes back inwards, that keeps the balance. Take it back around the other way now. There, and rotating it around. Feels a bit weird, but feel how strong and powerful those muscles are working. Dipping down and around. In fact, you're probably not even getting circles. You might feel like more like triangles going on. But just rotate it around. Last one there. Two, one. Just held it. Good. Step either side of the beam and give that a nice, gentle shake out. Big stretch coming up as well, guys. Not three foot position. We're going to put one foot to the beam. We're going to put the right foot on the beam. Beam is make sure it's nice and straight. Don't have it a bit cock eyed. Well, it's not a hangover. Foot nice and straight. Other foot, toe level with the heel. Both heels flat on the floor. We're going straight for swan wings. Ready? Down and back. There, down we go. So look, that last exercise, we tense a lot of our core muscles up trying to do a circle, hip circle, on a beam with the feet in line. There and down. This is now stretching and open up those fibers there. That's the last one there, pause and hold. Rotate round for two, turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish the hands out, bring it back round to me. Keep them there, look where the foot is, step forward one till the heel is level with the toe. 
you get that falling forward feeling. Heels nice and flat, here we go, dip and back. And that is to give us a huge stretch. Your foot on the beam, guys. You can feel that right into those adductors. Remember, you guys on the tape, get yourself foot on a cushion. Best way of doing that one, okay, down we go. But not a cushion on a, on a polished floor, because you'll take off faster than the cat running out the back door. There we go, there. And then, I just picture the cat running out the back door really quickly. Two more left, there's one. Gracefulness, posture and poise. Last one, coming down to there. We pause and hold. This time, just face with each other. Wide to the eyes, turn hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart. Pause, hold. Two, one. Now sort those feet out of the side. Then give it a shake out. Be a lot, guys. We're not going fast. We're going slow. It's focused and concentrated. You can feel the energy that we're using. So we're going to place the other foot, left foot now onto the beam. Nice and straight. Got the warm patch. The foot on the floor is level, just touching the side of the beam on the floor. Toe level with the heel. P for posture. Hands up and out, same as the other side, okay? Down we go, there, and back. So how, how far down those hands get? Are you touching your beam or top of the foot almost straight away? Down we go, there, and back up. Now, some, you know what? I've got an audit walking class I do down here, so we do know walking. The Sunday group will not mind you telling them, I finished with a stretching session on Sunday, and I did an adductor stretch, and they, <laughs> they hardly bent their knees, guys. The position they got into was nothing at all, okay? A demonstration of they need to do more stretching. Down we go, there. One more, dipping it down to here, there, and back and hold, and we rotate round for two. There, hold, turn hands up, breathe. Feel the difference in the stretch on this position here. Exhale down, squish the hands out, back round to me. We're gonna arc the hands down this time. Release some tension up here, roll the shoulders forwards, then to the rear. Good stuff, stepping forward. You know what I've noticed these days? I just say things like, hold the thumb here, and I look, and people are starting to do this with their shoulders. Fantastic, good habits, guys, good to see. Feet nice and flat, heels flat, hands up and out. Here we go, there, down, and back. Good, now the foot on the beam, the hamstring, is not gonna feel as tight this side, because your muscle memory's kicked in. The nervous system knows exactly what's coming next, there we're going back. Three of these left. There's one. Good. Gracefulness, posture and poise. Fantastic. There's two. Looking fantastic. Feeling fantastic. Last one. It's three. Staying straight on. Here we go. Turn hands up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart and arc those hands down. Pause, hold. Step away the side of the beam, guys, and give it a nice shake out. Good stuff. All right. We're going to have another on the beam, we're gonna lie down this time. Okay, side of here, you've got me on there, okay. And lie down, half an hour gone, we're lying down already, good grief. Right, I've unmuted you, so I don't hear any snoring. <laughs> I haven't really. Okay guys, on the beam is far easier, you know your spine's aligned, let your scapulas drop either side on the bevel, give the beam a little squeeze, palms on the floor, knees together and high, Feet onto the beam, hands onto the legs, imaginary trousers we've got on with super sharp creases, as long as the shoulders and the back of the head comes off the beam, then it's touching before we go again. Sit up time, slide the fingers up to the kneecaps, go. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, four left, and back, four, and back, three, and back, and two, and back, and one, and back down. Pause there for a second. Take your own big deep breath in. You can hold for a few seconds, guys, and blow as hard as you can. All the little things you like doing as well, as well as what we go through in the class. Follow me on this one. We're going to go upwards and hold the position for five seconds. Ready? Go. Up we go and hold for four, two, zero, and back down again. There. Good. Palm of the hands on the floor. Hip bridge. Let's stretch this out. Ready? 
Raise the hips off the beam, nice and high. Squeeze the bum, the glutes, the butt, whatever we call it, nice and high. Keep pushing the hips upwards, keep pushing upwards for two and one and lower back down again. Good. We're going to raise the left foot into the sky, the right foot into the sky. Cross the legs with the ankles and place your hands one on top of the other on the front shin, the one nearest to you. So mind my left one. Sliding up that shin, guys. Here we go. And one and back. Two, back. Three, back. Four, and five, four left, there, back, three, and two, and one, and back. Left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor. Hip bridge, palms on the floor. Keep the feet on the floor with your side of the beam this time and push the hips upwards. Here we go, nice and high, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the glutes. They'll probably activate by themselves anyway. You can't stop that these days. Nice and high, a bit higher, but higher, but higher. And relax, bring the spine back down to the beam. Both feet back onto the beam. Raise the left foot to the sky, the right foot to the sky. Cross the legs over the other way. Place both hands onto the shins, one on top of the other. Off we go, one and back. Two, reaching up, and three, get a bit high up the leg each time. And four, and back, head and shoulders, and five, and back, and four, and there, and three, and back, and two, and back, and one, and back down, palms to the floor, right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor, either side of the beam, it's a hip bridge, raise up. Push, 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 push. There. You're probably that last one starting to feel the lower abs, pelvic floor, hip flexors working super hard. Hold that position there, guys. Keep pushing upwards. Two and a one. And lower the butt back down to the beam. Looking good. Okay, both feet back onto the beam now. Lower pelvic floor, lower abdominal area. Left foot into the sky, right foot into the sky. Insteps together, knees together. Keep the legs as long as you can. Pull the toes to the shins and open those feet out, scissors. Out and back. And out and back. And keep that going. When you take the feet out, the muscles are gonna give. The adductors will give. You'll get the feet a little bit wider, get a little bit more distance improved. There we go. Lower pelvic floor, guys, not just the abs. We're right below the rib cage to the top of the legs there. And three, and back, and two. Keep the feet high, toe towards the shins. Two, bonus. Last one, out we go there, and bring it back. Hold, left foot beam, right foot beam, pause and hold. Hands to the floor, palms down. This time it's the arms and the hips. Hip bridge, arms off the floor, way over the head. Push the hips upwards. I've got touch down my hands now, and you get a nice, 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 bigger hip bridge on this one. Inhale, exhale, up we come, guys, all the way. The last movement, when the palms touch the floor, neutral spine. Any hand you want, check you've got a little dip under your back, so you've got neutral spine going on. Good, straighten the left leg out, straighten the right leg out. Okay, on this last one for the abs, I call it a plank abs. We don't want the heels touching the floor if you can. We're going to bring the legs out to a scissors, nice and wide, so we should get good movement all exercise and done. Palms to the floor, switch off the rest of the body, insteps together, toes towards the shins. We're ready? Go. He calves come off the beam, out we go, nice and wide with those feet and bring them back in again. If your heels touch the floor, not a problem. Out we go again. There. They can be touching the floor all the time. And back. And out. There. And again. So what we've done there, we've joined the dots. We've worked from below the rib cage to just the top of the adductors. And we're joining them together. Now, right down the abs, we're also working the lower half of the spinal column. And back. Three left. Out we go. One. And back. And two. Out we go. 
and back and three. Out we go and back and pause. Bring those feet nice and flat on the floor in the side of the beam. Good. Left knee to the chest, right knee to the chest. Three gentle rolls back to a sitting position if we can have smiley faces anyway. Ready? Go. One, two, and a three. And up we come. And I'm going to unmute you. Sit and face. Good. So ages ago, I mentioned to you, we got it on the plan. When we get to this time of the month, we're going to be, in, oh, this time month in the year, we're going to be doing more abs. So we intend to do more a different type of abs, different ways on the beam with Pilates for the next few Tuesdays, certainly through the next month, guys. Feet to here, hands up and out, palms are there. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish them out, palms facing me. Clap that like as 3,000 because you deserve it. One, two, three, go, yes. Excellent, what a different session. And yes, enjoyed it. Have a safe day, all right. Good. <laughs> Oh, you, you don't unmute. Oh, you're nice and quiet. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks, Todd. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.